So uh, looking at that uh, college insider field, you guys have a pretty cool matchup with Bowling Green mm -hmm. State, uh, even Weber State's in the field. I mean, uh, what, are your, what have you been thinking since that field was announced? Um, well, of course, I've heard a lot about you know Damian Lillard and uh, about him being in the tournament. So two of the top leagues scores in the nation in one tournament uh, is pretty exciting. Uh, but the, the bigger picture is I get another chance, you know, to play a game in front of the, the Oakland University. So, so that's pretty sweet. You know, I'm excited for it. How does that pole season streak help you guys going into this? It'll be in Oakland's fourth season in a your second with Oakland going into the postseason. They, meanwhile, Bowling Green and Red hasn't gone to the postseason in um, three seasons. So, I um, think you guys are used to playing in the March, and maybe that'll help. Yeah, I think it's become, uh, you know, a tradition here. Uh, you know, being a part of the postseason action when it comes to NCAA basketball. Um, you know, it's not the tournament that we, you know, had in our in our mindset, you know, at the beginning of the year, but it's still a national tournament and it's one that we're pretty excited excited about and we took that approach, you know, in our practices, like we want to win this tournament. So have you guys moved on from Southern Utah loss? Yeah, I, I, I honestly think we've moved on. Uh, I've moved on from it, you know, you just you can't, things happen and that you can't change. So, you know, we'll never get that day back. And, you know, um, I think if we had that game again, you know, it would be way, it would be different as hell, so. Now, ultimately, history hasn't been completely written. Like you said, you guys still have another game. How would you summarize your time in Oakland? How would you best describe it? Man, it's, it's been a, a great ride, man. I've learned so much uh, by being here. I've matured much as a player as well as a person. And I, I've had a, a pretty successful career, you know, uh, as an individual athlete and uh, overall wise with the team. So I, I think my mission has been complete uh, as far as Oakland. How do you think fans will remember you? Um, well, every person that I meet, they just say they enjoy watching me play. They enjoy my passion, um, the way I can get the crowd excited and things like that. So um, that's what I think they'll remember me for. And just, you know, being a humble and nice guy, you know, when they get to finally meet me. Um, your scoring ability, I mean, it's the, probably, the, probably the best in the nation, along with Damian Lillard. Um, do you think, how do you think you compare to him and, and potentially other people up there? Um, well, I haven't really watched him play, but uh, I've talked to a coach that uh, has coached against him. They said our games are quite similar. Um, but at, I'm number one in the nation right now, so, you know, it's hard to not think that, you know, I'm the best scorer right now. So. Because, uh, you know, numbers don't lie. So right now, I believe that I'm the best scorer in the nation. And if not, I'm one of the best scorers. So. Yeah. Um, Summit League, five teams in the postseason in four different tournaments. Is that just a testament to just how difficult the league was this year? Man, our league was really competitive. And if you look at those, those numbers of, you know, players scoring points per game. I think we have, what, five players in like the yeah, top? Yeah, at one point it was five of the top four teams. And, and that, that's, that's crazy. Uh, I know there's been NBA scouts as multiple uh, Summit League teams games this year. So, I mean, that says a lot about our league, and I think it's growing. I hope that it continues to grow like that. Did you guys watch the finals, uh, Western Illinois? I know you said you had a connection there, and they definitely put up a good fight. Yeah. It was a great game. Yeah, it was a good game, man. Uh, uh, some the ball just didn't bounce Western Illinois' way, you know. Okay. But uh, South Dakota State, good team. I uh, uh, hope they go to NCAA tournament against Baylor and you know represent the Summit League well. Uh, the Bowling Green matchup for yourselves specifically. What what did you guys talk about today in practice? Um, well, we talked about how you know they had some games where they've been you know kind of rocky, and then they had some games where they've been pretty good. You know, quite like ourselves this year. So um, we've just been taking the approach of you know guarding their sets and stuff. We know they play a two-three zone, but we don't know if they're gonna come in and you know play a two-three zone against us. You know, with the good shooting that we've been putting on. But uh, we've just been taking the approach. You know, like it's another big game, and it is for us. Uh, speaking of specifically the two-three zone, who are some notable opponents, and how much you guys fare against that? Uh, well, Southern Utah, you know, the new school that added to our um, conference, they played the two-three and uh, South Dakota. Yeah, yeah, okay. South Dakota. I'm sorry. Yeah, South Dakota. They played the two-three like the entire game. <laughs> so um, and we knocked down shots, you know, and. South Dakota State, they actually played 2-3-2 two, two a little bit, you know, pack it in and kind of double team on me a little bit. But uh, I think we did, you know, pretty good against the 2-3 zone, you know, when everyone started getting comfortable and knocking down shots. Not to look too far ahead, but you've accepted, as far as we know, an invitation to the Portsmouth Invitational in whatever, 
It's, it's not. It's escaping me right now. What is that? Rhode Island. Uh, Virginia. Wow. Yeah. Okay. Well, I didn't major in geography. So. <laughs> it's cool. <laughs> so, um, have you gotten any? Any? Have you talked to anyone about that, or have you seen who else is going there? And, and what are you thinking about that? Uh, well, I really haven't, you know, started focusing on that right now because you know the season's still going, so I'm really not trying to pay too much of attention to it. But I know some great players have, you know, went there and made a name for themselves. Um, Jeremy Lin. Um, Butler, he plays for the Bulls, you know, those guys like that, they've all went there and, you know, put on shows. So uh, I understand that it could be big, it can help me, you know, all I got to do is impress one NBA team, right. you know. <laughs> so um, I'm thankful for if that. If it hasn't team. happened yet, right. it should happen out there. Yeah, right? I, I pray, I pray that it does, and I, if it hasn't happened already. So I'm excited for the opportunity. Well, we already know you're a great shooter, you've done, you've made some great passes, um, great three point shooting as well. But what, oh, not to mention, you know, defense. Right. Uh, I think league leader in steals. Yeah. But what do you think you need to work on when you head out there? Um, just pray, just pray, defend a little bit more. You know, that's you. You always can defend a little bit more. So um, when I go out there, of course, I'm going to be aggressive to score the basketball, but I'm also going to be aggressive more on defense. What do you think about pros coming from your majors? It seems like in college basketball these days, I mean, majors like Oakland and Weaver State get a lot more attention than they maybe would have 10 years ago. Yeah, you you got to give a lot of credit to, you know, the coaches and, you know, the media as well. You know, you guys you put a lot of hype into it and people start, you know, feeding into it. Then they come out and they see, like, wow, these guys actually can't it's play. Worth it. Right, they're worth it. So, I mean, you got to give yourself credit <laughs> and uh, Coach Campy, you know, for putting players like me and in, in, in that position to, you know, show people that, you know, it's it's pro potential in, in, in a major level. How old were you when you started playing basketball and then, and then how old were you when you thought that you could potentially one day go professional um, and that become your dream? Well, I know my father put a ball in my hands when I was about the age of two years old. <laughs> you know, I didn't know anything what to do with it. But, uh, he used to take me to where he we went to go play basketball and things like that. And I was just a little guy just trying to run on the court and just throw my little basketball at the rim. I was nowhere near and things like that. But I started playing organized basketball in fourth grade, um, along with my cousin, uh, DJ Cooper, who plays for mm -hmm. Ohio. And um, So we don't have to ask who you're rooting for in that game? Oh, yeah. I'm definitely rooting for DJ Cooper, man. He's put in some work, man. I'm proud of him. But um, it... it I realized that I had something, you know, in high school, you know, uh, going into my senior year, I put in a lot of work, man, and it, it paid off for me in that year. And that's when I started getting a lot of attention from, you know, college coaches and things like that. But come, going into high school, no one thought that I would be, you know, in the position that I am right now. You know, I was a great junior high school player, but I came in to high school, didn't make varsity, uh, played a little bit with the sophomore team before getting put back on the freshman squad. So no one thought that I'd be in this position, though. Now some would say, some have said, I've read that uh, he might be undersized for the NBA. But how do you combat that? How do you work through that? Man, I, I got heart, you know. Uh, <laughs> I think I showed that against, you know, some of the top dogs this year, you know, that we played. Some of those guys are, you know, pro NBA players, potentially. Mm -hmm. So uh, my height, I, I really don't think that has anything to do with it. In my eyes, you know, of course, people are going to say that, you know, he's 5'11", 6' barely. But, I mean, I'm going to work my butt off, you know. And if I get make an NBA squad, if I'm not, you know, going to be that player playing that much, I'm still going to put in that work. And maybe that, that player that's on the verge of becoming a star player, maybe he'll see that, you know, and blame. Man, I just go in the gym as much as Reggie do, you know. And maybe he'll become that star, right. So. Uh, I'm, I'm praying that, you know, a team can see that in, in me. Well, I really appreciate it. Good luck out there. We'll definitely keep tabs on you. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate it.